What's up guys and welcome back to LA Noir. This is a marriage made in heaven. Kind of an interesting title. Oh, that was brutal. A hit and run. All right. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site, the coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my sap. Dude. That was, I mean, that that was one of the worst hit and runs I think I've ever seen. He got clobbered there. It's not like it was a little little tap, you know, anything like that. This guy is is done, so that's for sure. Said the coroner's on his way there, which means we've got a uh, a death. We're gonna have to go find out who did it. This is gonna be a messy one, dude. That was uh, that was not good. It's another day in the life, man. Been dealing with some really crazy stuff lately. Seems to be getting crazier and crazier, but it's all a part of the job, man. It's a traffic detective. Here we go. Could throw our Looks siren like on, but I'm gonna keep it, keep it silent. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. <laughs> How you do that? I'll give him something better. Hmm. I guess we'll see what happens here. Ray's Cafe at 428 AM. Oh, look at the, the splatter, bro. <laughs> wow. Might have a couple of witnesses here. The lady outside, the bartender inside. Oh, Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there, and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Mm. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Her name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. All right. Let's see if we can find any evidence here. I mean, looks like they've already got some of it mapped out for us, so we might as well start down here. Looks like these are the uh, the tire marks. So there, there kind of was an attempt to break, I guess. He did screech the tires the a bit. The driver managed to break before the impact. Interesting. And then it looks like this is going to be the primary point of impact. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. You know, that is kind of odd. Why? There's a lot of, lot of blood there, but then the main blood starts over here. You know what I mean? Why would it bleed out early and then, I mean, I don't know. Body traveled a good 20 feet. Huh. It's just kind of odd. Like, I don't think you instantly start bleeding as soon as you get hit. It's weird that that blood would be there. So we've got all those. Let's Phelps, see what we've got over here. You should take a look at the bodies. Poor guy didn't stand a chance. Oh, thanks, man. I ended on his Most face people and don't. Ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. Oh, this is nasty. All right. Is there anything we're going to be able to check here? This jacket pocket. California fire, fire and Life. Receipt of your application. Pre-approval is granted. Weekly premium of your life and shoot. Sum of $16,000. Interesting. It's kind of odd that he would have that on him randomly when he died. Could be a, a sign of foul play here. Insurance fraud or something like that. Let me check his hand. Nothing in that hands. Does he have another pocket we can check? Left pocket. Oh, this is his wallet. All right, so we could see his ID here. We can notify next of kin. Got his name and stuff. Looks like he had a little bit of money in here. Coming out from the bar. 
Not really going to need that. Can we flip this over or anything at all? Nope. All right. We'll check his other hand, and I think that, uh... I think that's going to about do it for his body. Just check to make sure... Oh, dude, that road rash. It's a good thing he's not alive, because that would that would hurt pretty bad. Can we check his face at all? Nothing up here. Yeah, just... Just lovely. Just, you know, touching what corpses. What the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things Ooh. are killers. Maybe... Maybe that's where the original blood came from. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. He's got a ton of blood on the front of his chest. And maybe that's where the original blood splatter over here took place. Interesting. Look around. Make sure there's nothing else. What is this over here? Best deals. Air conditioner. Little shops and stuff. So to make sure we are missing anything, you never really know. Got a little alley back here, bottle. Use intuition to search for clues. Um, I mean, I don't really want to use my intuition, you know what I mean? I, I feel like we've been saving those up. We've been doing pretty good. Could check like the dumpster back here. Ooh, what is that, what is that, what is that? Beer bottle? I don't think that's gonna do. Optimistic, Cole. Do anything for us. <laughs> Just try to check everything out, bro. You never know. Anything over here? Is that a knife? <gasps> no! Are we talking about hood ornaments? Or maybe knife stabbings? Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. Tar bright stainless case, steel knife. Services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. I don't feel like you're going to use a steak knife and then throw it in the trash can. What is that underneath, too? Is under a newspaper? Can we pick up the newspaper? I don't think we could pick up the news newspaper. Kind of feels like that could have been placed there. I feel like our, our boy was a little bit concerned about the chest wounds, too, so that could add up. I don't know. We could be reaching. Could be something that they just uh, want to throw us off our, yes? our trail a bit. I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. All right. So this is Shannon Perry. She lives above the bar. She's 24 years old, and she's an eyewitness to the incident. Let's hear what she has to say. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Arguing? I mean, that makes sense. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Okay, I mean, I, I trust you so what far. What car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Ooh. That was pretty... That was pretty confident. Did you see the trust license her? plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. 3C8. 3C8. She's got a good memory, dude. Can you imagine seeing a hit and run, like... It'd be hard to, to remember and, and you know, Tell think that more clearly. About the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Hmm. Feel like she's kinda looking away and getting a little bit weird with me. I don't think we could accuse her of anything. Let me see my notebook here. So we've got a red Lincoln Continental insurance letter. I mean she could be involved. Wallet, coroner's report. I don't think we can necessarily accuse her of anything, though. She lives here. I mean, there's there's nothing you could do. I, I think she's lying, though. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. She's trying to get paid. I my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. <laughs> she said he had a small you, pecker. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Interesting. 
You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. So we're gonna head into the I'll bar the now, talk to these guys. The rest of the room. Work on the bartender. What's up, my man? I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna Mrs. Patterson home. The wife that they were arguing. Let's talk about the what incident. Can you tell me about the accident. Not a lot. It was busy in here and all I heard was the impact. Bro, it's 4 a.m. Well, what's up with that? Yeah, he's lying. 100% lying. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Okay. I believe Not you. one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. Why'd you get all fidgety? In the booze, though. He just got a little bit fidgety there. A argument witness overheard. overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? I mean, I trust him. What was it about? Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. Seems like we might have Thanks gotten that one wrong. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything okay. out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. So we put her hand, or he, he put his hands on her a little bit, huh? That's that's not good. Um, I mean, looks like they want us to go talk to someone on the phone. We can go try to talk on the phone. I would think the next thing would be to go talk to the wife, right? I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. Oh my bad, man. I probably shouldn't have run through the the crime scene, huh? <laughs> Whoops. So let's. Looks like the we've got the 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 phone on the line here. Let's see what's going on with this, and then we're going to uh, to maybe go go question her. I don't know. Phelps, one two four seven. How could I help, detective? I need to run a partial license plate, three Charles eight. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. That should be enough info to get it. To a William Shelton. William Shelton. 38 West Temple Street. Thanks for your help. All right. Shoot. So should we, should we try to go nail the hit and runner like or the? Got a break on this one. Talk to the wife first. I honestly don't know. Something, something weird. I, I don't like the fact that we found the knife. I don't like the fact that the the injuries aren't really consistent with the car crash. It's a little bit odd. So we can go to the Patterson residence, the Shelton residence, or Ray's Cafe. I'm gonna go to the Shelton residence here. Let's let's go see if we can if we can nail the guy that did the hit and run. Maybe he's gonna have. He could be related. It could be Lucky something break, totally unrelated. ID. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Why don't they just stop? You heard I wouldn't feel safe in a tank with you driving. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, man. We're good. But yeah, I'm curious, like, we could be looking at a murder here. Sure. Never back your enemy into a corner. That kind of stuff. Right. Well, in a hit and run, the purpose is already in flight. It's easier to keep going. It takes a degree of moral courage to stop and accept responsibility. Yeah, it does. Not as dumb as you make yourself out to be. Are you still wrong? I didn't know I was making myself out to be. I like their little conversations. But yeah, we could be looking at some sort of a tag team murder situation where he was stabbed and then hit by a car to, to disguise it. It could just be an honest mistake and the kitchen knife is throwing us off. I, it could be anything. 7.43 a.m. at the Shelton residence. Looks like he's trying to get out of here in a hurry. 
<laughs> Damaged grill, blood on it. That son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Get after him! Oh boy, we got a we got a chase scene here, fellas. He can run from we gotta apprehend him. Let's get after it. Watch out, people. Road signs are not gonna get in my way, baby. Okay, that tree might though. My bad. Alright, I'm gonna turn the siren off just because the siren's annoying. Here we go. Let's get after it, Trev. We gotta take this dude down. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Similar to how we did before then. Woo! Got him there. Try to hit his his left side here. Oh yeah. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Oh baby. Take this guy out. Beautiful. Is he done though? Don't let that asshole get away. I give up. He gives up. That's it. Cuff him and we're done. Put your hands where I can see them. How we got a particular him. manslaughter rap sound, Sheldon. I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Sheldon. You can't be serious. William Sheldon, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. Okay. This is, you're see, like... part of the prospect of paperwork, don't you? When he, when he says that, that makes me think, whoa, okay, I don't know why we're both getting in on this side. That makes me think maybe it was a suicide, or it could have been, again, a hit of some sort. If there were two people standing next to him and all of a sudden he was out in the road, maybe he was shoved. Maybe he did it on purpose because he was in a fight with his wife and he's just like, I'm done, I'm over with this, I'm going to jump out in front of a car. I have no clue, but we're, we're going to have to try to get to the bottom of this. We know there is an argument. We know there could be some foul play. None of these, uh, none of these options are, are uh, out of the realm of reality, you know what I mean? Woo! That guy was taking a left real quick right there. Try to get around these fellas. We're gonna go get them. Dude, that was actually that was a pretty smooth stop back there. I'm not gonna lie. We kind of pinned him in against another vehicle. Had a nice, uh, nice little go at it. Can we cut through here. All right. Watch out for pedestrians. Really don't want to run into anybody. Woo. We're good. All right. 9.02 a.m. So you said your husband had a small pecker, and now he's dead. Gonna have to figure out what actually went wrong here. Yes? Hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? She seems awfully not upset considering that her husband was killed not more than a few hours ago. Can you tell me what happened? In a hit and run. to tell. He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. Oh, I don't I think so. I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one bias again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. 
Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. An attorney? All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't hmm. this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. This, this smells foul here. Let's talk about the How incident. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walks straight into the path of an oncoming car. You're lying. You expect me to believe that, Lorna. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? From what I heard, this is a pretty bad argument. Admit I'm gonna need it. you to you keep it real. Pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. Hmm. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. That didn't really go well at all. Seems like we didn't really get anywhere. Hmm. Saying that we might be able to take a phone call over here. I kind of feel at a, a bit of a loss, to be honest. Let's see what's going on here. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? You drove me up to Mulholland and we did some... Are there any messages for me? <laughs> Just one, Detective, from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Nice. All right. That's going to be our next step. Beautiful. So we can really find out how he died here. If there was any foul play, if that knife had anything to do with anything, if it was just truly blunt force trauma or whatever else. One thing I will say is thinking back to the, the Lincoln that he was hit with, I don't think that had a big hood ornament, did it? I didn't think to look when, when we first saw it. I mean, it's going to be a little bit banged up now. <sighs> Hello. Okay. Just because I'm out in the middle doesn't mean that you can just choose to run right into me, sir. Probably should have had my siren on, but to be honest, it's loud. And obnoxious, so I don't, I don't think I really want to run with that. So we're we're just gonna turn that off. But yeah, this this is interesting so far. So she's already lawyered up. She claims it was from divorce papers that she was gonna be serving. It also seems as if her and the lawyer seem to have a bit of a a closer relationship than just uh, you know attorney client. So there definitely definitely seems to be something mischievous afoot here. Are going to be able to get off this? Oh my goodness, dude. YOLO. Can we try to get there in one piece? Oh, we're going to be fine, bro. <laughs> Central Morgue, 922 AM. Your boy is the quickest man in LA. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. No. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. 
We were right there, and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. So this is a stabbing. This was a murder. This isn't... Wow, okay. Things just kind of heated up a little bit here. Question is, is, who's the murderer? Is it the wife? I can't imagine the wife is the one that did it. Maybe, I don't know. She definitely has motive. All right, so we're going to go back to the Pattison residence. Set that as our destination. I don't think we're going to be able to get there as quickly as we as we got here. Oops. My apologies. We definitely could be a little bit more patient with our, our driving in this game, but that's all right, dude. We gotta get back there in a hurry. They know, okay. Oh, they know that we're, we're hot on the trail and I, I bet they're trying to, trying to get moving. I can't imagine they're gonna be hanging around here for too long when they know that we're, got them in our sights. She's probably gonna try to skip town just like the hit and run driver did. So they, they, they must have stabbed him and then threw him out in front of the car? We're about to find out, baby. Let's see if she's still here. Hmm. He spoke to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand nice jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how we had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, had all shut the up. the bases covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with it. You think I'm gonna fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him for God's sake! Oh! Whoa! 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 Where'd he go? He's out here, dude. He just shot her in the back. He's shooting at us. I might try to do a warning shot. Sabo, stop or I will shoot. Lester could be a heel, but that's a lousy way for anyone to go out. We got him. Beautiful. Didn't actually have to kill him. I mean, he's going to get fried anyway. He stabbed somebody, shot his girlfriend or whatever you want to call her in the back, shot at police and then ran from us. Yeah, he's he's going away for a long time. But dude, that, I wasn't ready for him to shoot her. So I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Thank you, keep sir. Keep up the good work. Wow. Dude, this game is good. I get... Totally thought that was just gonna be a, a, a hit and run at the start of this. And look at everything that it turned out to be. We took a little bit of vehicle damage, missed a clue, missed a question, but uh, overall pretty good. And uh, Leroy is going to be behind bars.